오랜만이야 10년이면 강산도 변한다던데 넌 말이야 얼마나 많이 변했을까 궁금해 기억을 잃어버린 도리에게 사랑이란 그저 fantasy 그래도 한텐 0 1 2 4 3 둘밖에 없던 멜로 What's up, you guys? My name is Akuna Mui Ifini here, and welcome to another day, another episode of me rambling on TikTok. TikTok, what? On the internet. <laughs> I have done, I think, like two TikToks today, so my brain is kind of still working on TikTok time, but yeah, welcome back to another episode of me rambling about something. So, as you can see from the title, we're talking about how to overcome filming anxiety because child. I can tell you firsthand that I have been, how is it, I have been struggling with it for a while. See, I started this internet journey quite a while back, okay? Like, I was doing TikTok before TikTok was doing TikTok. And I remember I was, okay, later on, <clears throat> sorry, later on, I felt so pissed about myself because I really never put in the energy. I never put in the work, I never put in, I never really had confidence to keep on going, so I kind of stopped. And then when I started doing, I also started doing YouTube then, but y'all know that wasn't even serious. So when I started this channel brand new, okay, I was like, I'm gonna try and overcome my anxiety just a little bit, just a little bit, because it was a fact to me. This is something I really want to be good at. I really want to be successful at and I really enjoy doing it but the idea or rather I used to be so scared that people are judging or other people are you know looking and looking differently and this and that and that and that I really thought that people cared okay I for sure thought that people cared and I'm gonna say this firsthand I just realized that nothing really matters I know that sounds weird but it doesn't really matter. People don't give a fuck. They just want to see an interesting video and swipe up and continue with their lives. Okay? So, I, you know what? <laughs> right now when I sit back, I'm like, thank the heavens that I actually wasn't successful back then. Because I was 18. Okay? Straight out of high school. Very high level of immaturity. Um, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do in life. I didn't even know what kind of course I wanted to do. Like, I had just dropped out of high school, high school, what? I dropped out of my first university, then I joined because I, I joined with IR and then I didn't want to do IR and I didn't know what to do, so now I'm sitting at home doing nothing, so I started doing YouTube videos because of Liza Koshi <laughs> and Lily Singh. At that time, she called herself Superwoman. Um, those are the people who, like, inspired me to start making vlogs, start making videos. But let's be honest, I wasn't even focusing, I wasn't paying attention, I was just like, whatever. They didn't have form, they didn't have anything. So, I can't even explain to you guys, like, what the fuck I was doing on the internet that time, but anyway. So, when I started afresh, I had a new perspective. I was older, wiser, I'm gonna say mature, but let's be honest. No one really ever gets to the point of maturity. I have matureness in me, if that's a word, and a lot of immaturity, but that's okay. That's cool. We're Gucci. So, I actually realized that this time around, I'm ready. This time around, I have a vision. This time around, I know what the fuck I'm doing. And it was so exciting and then I did that weird um this year started and I had a breakdown like a burnout that I didn't post for what three months so now that I'm back I have so much energy like today for example take today I woke up at eight okay because I had to run some errands have to have to check some paperwork whatever, whatever I had to do some errands and it's um if I knew the time or if I had my phone it's 2 44 and I'm still very energetic like so energetic and i am so i don't know okay <laughs> i mean i'm energetic because you know everything that things are working out things are working out okay things i've been planning for a while are working out i think maybe that's why i have so much life in me but let's not go off track Ekra. come back come back to the topic of discussion when I start talking, I ramble a lot, so I'm trying to bring my brain to come back to the topic of focus. The topic of focus is filming anxiety. 
and whatever so here's what i did or rather this is basically what i've learned over the years and this is something i've learned specifically and more intensely that's a word yeah it's a word intensely the last couple of weeks um time moves fast so i might not have the dates right but when was this two months ago in may oh, not may we're well, not even may was it march was it march that we, we lost brunch here i think it was march right and when he was alive no one give a damn well, he did a lot of mean things, but still no one gave a damn. You know, he made his videos, and did this, and did this, and did this. And then when he died, everyone wants to say things, you know? Like, everyone wants to be like, oh, this, oh, that. And let's not talk about his funeral, because, child, that was, that was, I'm going to leave it at that. That was just, that was just that. What made me, okay, what I learned from that was the fact that, Let's be honest, no one gives a damn about anything else but other than themselves. Like, in reality, no one is really watching you as you think they are. Like, yeah, they're gonna watch, okay, yeah, okay, Akronama did this today, okay, cool, she did this today, okay, am I gonna hate it or am I gonna love it? Who? Let's see, today I'm gonna I'm, I'm hate on her, then tomorrow I'm gonna love her, then the next day I'm gonna hate on her. But in reality, I'm just bored and I'm hiding behind a keyboard, so who cares? And the moment that you die, the moment that you're lowered to the ground and they cover you the fuck up, people keep on living their own damn lives. And you see, that's what bothered me. I'm like, I am I was way too bothered by how people are gonna see me, by how people are gonna feel me that I forgot when I die. When I'm six deep under, six deep under, six feet under, yo. <sighs> English is not English in today. Also, that's not a word. Um, when I'm six feet under, people are going to go on with their lives. So I realized that I don't want to die without living the life that I've always wanted to live since I was, what, five years old? Here's the thing. When I was a child, I didn't know about YouTube. But I knew about Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, and Rihanna, okay? I knew about Hollywood. I knew about fame. And I knew about... You know Disney fame because that's the one thing that you know it's exciting movie movies I knew about actors I knew about all those things and I remember dancing around my room or the living I don't even care like you know rapping like Nicki Minaj I think maybe that's why I know a lot of her songs in the back of my head I'm like when did I learn this but I've been doing this since I was five or something you know performing for no audience whatsoever you know maybe my sisters because it's the thing that I've been doing. So for me, unconsciously, unconsciously, yeah, I never actually knew that, okay, unconsciously, I knew I wanted to do something in the entertainment industry. I just never really knew exactly what it was because at a young age, I was, you know, doing my own little concerts, you know, singing, what was it, all the single ladies in the living room. When my mom is at work, <laughs> I was busy turning it up to an, my imaginary concert, you know, and maybe that's why I always have imaginary concerts when I take a shower, which is weird because no one actually, no, that's, <laughs> you know, actually doing all the fans, no concert is held in the shower, but to me, I don't know, I'm not a performer, I can sing to save my life. Okay, let's, let's, that's for a fact. I can't. But I can talk your ears out. Maybe that's why I started doing YouTube. But and subconsciously, that's the word I was looking for. See, I knew I was saying the wrong word, but I, I, went, I went on with it. Um, if it bothers you, mm, whatever. Subconsciously, <laughs> I never really knew that I'm gonna end up in the, in the in the entertainment industry. What the hell did I eat today? It's, I ate a girl for lunch. Maybe that's what's affecting me. So that's like what made me, you know, snap the fuck out of it. And and I am, you know, making videos. I don't really care anymore. Like I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you hate it. I really don't care if it makes me happy. It's going up. I have been filming TikTok since. Consist, consist, cons hey, hey, you men them <laughs> consecutively, and I've been posting. I've been, I've been did a TikTok with Urban Tone music 
just because you know arbitrage is quite interesting i came to realize <laughs> it's actually an interesting thing and they have interesting dances i'm not that good of a dancer but you know it's fun it's fun it's live it life so that's one i think the major step that i've taken so far in conquering my fear of looking stupid my fear of looking like i don't know what i'm doing nobody really knows what they're doing now are they nobody i can tell you for a fact most presidents don't even know the fact they're doing and they're running a country this is just you have to learn at every step no one has completely mastered what they have to do in life nobody we are all trying to figure it out even if you're 70 or you're two or you're 10 it doesn't really matter everyone is figuring it out so when you're just sitting there maybe you know there's some people maybe they want to start their career okay and the true focus is oh will i grow oh will people like me oh will people think i'm stupid oh will this oh will that stop it stop it right now stop it because in reality you want to do things that make you happy that's the whole point of life like you're supposed to live your life not your mother's life not your sister's life not your cousin's life not your grandmother's life not your own life and i always say the only person who knows what's best for you is you you can you can you know <laughs> you can argue that all day all night but the only person who knows what's best for them is you Listen to what people are saying, but if you want to be in the entertainment industry, be in the entertainment industry. I know the entertainment industry covers a big area, you know, including <laughs> including OF. I know, I know it covers a big area, but I would say even if people are doing OF, let's be honest, it's their life, right? Like they can do whatever, if that makes them happy or that what they want to do. So what? <laughs> Pilipili usio ila inakuashiani. Oh, yay, first time. Do you realize how I said it so slowly? Because Mianki Swahili, two hours apart. <laughs> two hours apart. I do speak Swahili, of course. Been in Kenya, and I'm going to Swahili, so I'm going Like, he me, si, si, kawaida, ati si kawaida. Si Swahili, so I'm going to Swahili, Swahili, and Nairobi. What else would I say? Is that one? So I think that was like one thing I really wanted to put across. Okay, and I didn't give you the how-to, but let's be honest: the moment you realize that you're doing this for you, and you're doing this for your own entertainment, you're doing this because you love it, you wanna keep on doing it. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Most people who hate on you actually admire you because they're like, I would want to do that, but I can't do that. And let me tell you, eh, even if you don't have the confidence for it, fake it. Oh, come on, you think? I have had to fake it till I make it. Like, I've had to fake the confidence in posting online until now I do. I used to, like, be so critical, not critical, so conscious of everything that I was saying that I actually never said the things I was meant to say. Like, I never really talked my brains out. Like, you know, I normally do. But, um, because, you know, I was scared, like, of how people will, you know, accept it until I saw the internet. Yo, some people out here just say whatever they want to say, and then if it doesn't make any sense. First of all, let me tell you, side rant, side rant. I saw this TikTok that made me ask myself, is education in America illegal? Because this is what happened, eh? I was scrolling through TikTok at 2 a.m. in the morning, you know, I have a fucked up sleeping schedule. Let's not even start with that. And I saw this girl complaining. Okay? She went to Denmark and apparently she was talking to some people. She was having a conversation with people. And she was shocked because people in Denmark don't celebrate the 4th of July. So at first I was like, is it that I'm up too late? And my brain isn't working, or oh, this bitch is tripping. She went on rambling, saying she's talked to people from the UK, from this, from this. So now she's pissed off at Europe as a continent. I don't even know if she knows Europe is a continent. I'm assuming she thinks the UK, that's, you know, the other name for, the UK, for London is Europe. Who knows? She was so pissed off at Europe because they don't celebrate the 4th of July. And, and... I'm like, don't you not know that the 4th of July is 
America's Independence Day. It's not Kenya's Independence Day. It's not UK Independence Day. I don't even think UK has an independence day. Who colonizes them? I don't know. It's not anybody else's independence day. It's yours. I am not going around telling people, oh, why the hell do you not celebrate 12th? Yes. I don't go around telling people they don't celebrate 12th December. Because that's Jamuhur Day. Yeah, that's our independence day. So I'm like, yo. And that's not all. I saw another one. This girl was saying, every, okay, she was being relatable, she was being relatable, because I've done this before. You see the scenario where you come from work, school, whatever, and you're like, I'm going to fill up the gas tank tomorrow morning because I'm lazy, right? It's tomorrow, it's my, my future self's problem. And in the morning you're like, damn, I really do got to fill up my fuel, right? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Comment section. An American goes... Who calls gas fuel? And in my head, I'm like, the rest of the fucking world? Everybody else. You see, that country imagines that how they do things is how the rest of the world does it. But anyway, end of rant. If it's not complaining here, that's a completely different video. I think I should make a video of me complaining about things. Who oh, that's gonna, um, it's gonna last a while. It's gonna be like an hour long. Anyway. So yeah, that's basically my how-to, okay? Just forget. Forget about everything. If you wanna, you're not post you're not post yourself dancing, even if you don't know how to, be my guest. You wanna you wanna you have um, a topic of interest that you really, really wanna share with people that you know of and everything, be my guest. As long as as long as you're not saying, you know, incorrect things. That's that's what bugs people. But you know, if you're telling actual facts, nobody really cares. You know, people who like you will like, people who hate you will hate it. So, you're still gonna live your life. Peace. Anyway, so, I've been standing the whole time. Actually, I don't even know why I've done this video standing, but I have. And I am done because I am tired and I wanna wear pajamas and relax. Because I just realized I'm kinda crashing now. You know, when you've been hyper and energetic the whole time and i haven't even had I, I didn't even take off i stopped taking coffee because i realized coffee actually made me sluggish it didn't liven me up it made me sluggish so i stopped taking coffee i'm just right now i'm just running on vibes they might end soon because it's starting to get gloomy and if it starts to rain who i become unproductive that's why i was i rushed to do this video anyway guys so that is all I had for you today. Hopefully, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I know I'm speaking to somebody, you know? There's somebody out there who's actually struggling with it and I'm actually sl sleeping. What? Speaking to you. I'm gonna end this video before I completely embarrass myself because today it feels like my mouth, my tongue, that's what I wanna talk. So, yeah guys, that is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Do you like my top? It's so cute. Do you like it? Do you see it? I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys because I think it's cute. Anyway, <laughs> that is all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. We have fun here. Massive fun, let's just say. Anyway, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Adios. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.